I think I found the negative pool rooms level, and to be honest with you, it's the one level in the back rooms that I would never leave. Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, as always. It's literally me every time. Don't know why I say that. Anyways, this video I'm gonna be explaining back rooms level negative 33, or the lukewarm hotel. Now this level is one that I genuinely would stay at forever. I mean, if I ever got sent to the back rooms, I would go here, never leave. And I have a feeling that y'all will think the same way. Without further ado, let's get into the explanation shall we? Also, go sub to my vlog channel, Brugs, if you want to watch the documentary of my life, and join everything over there. Thank you. So, level negative 33 has a classification of class 0, and it's safe, secure, and just look how chill it is, dude. I mean, I would literally just bring me and my friends here to stay forever. The level is very unique because it's an extremely safe negative level, and most negative levels are corrupted and dangerous because of how unstable or deep they are in the back rooms. But not this one, it's like an oasis. It's split up into four different parts, and those parts are the pools, the darkness, the hallways, the outside, and then the ocean area. The entire level is infinite, but for ease of explaining, those are the four parts that I'm gonna split it up into. The main part of the level is considered to be a massive hotel complex with a ton of hotel rooms inside. I mean, this thing is literally infinite. And there's multiple hotels, too. The entire place has an eerie familiarness to it. Like, you feel comfortable, but you've never been there. It's that type of thing. And these hotels have a slight chlorine smell to them, and a sort of salty sea air scent, too. And that's because, scattered throughout the hotels and the rooms, there are large pools everywhere. These pools mostly have lights at the bottom of them that give a sort of liminal type of glow to them, and the light above the pools give off this really relaxing and secure feeling. Pretty much it's just a giant hotel with pools everywhere. The water inside of the actual pools is of course lukewarm, which is where the name of the level comes from. A lot of the pools themselves are inside of the bigger hotel rooms, but some can be in the hallways and on the roof and in small rooms, it just depends. And the pools can be as big as the room? or just a small corner of it. It just depends on where you go. The pools all have tiled surfaces, similar to the ones that you'd find in the pool rooms, except these tiles have some very different properties. They seem to absorb water very quickly, even if they get soaking wet. So if you're in a pool and you like splash water out of it onto the tiles outside, the tiles would literally just soak up the water and it would get completely dry, which is pretty neat. Now, besides those pools inside of the rooms, there will also be beds and bookshelves and chairs and sofas and paintings and pretty much anything else that you'd find in like a resort hotel. These rooms have a very familiar and safe feeling to them, which adds to that liminal space and eerie vibe of the entire level. You feel comfortable here, in a way. Some pools inside of the rooms or hallways don't have any lighting, or much lighting at all, and these are the areas that are called the darkness. They give off feelings of uneasiness and paranoia, and you just feel wrong for standing in these dark areas. It's almost like something is right behind you about to grab you. Kind of like that level in Apirophobia. The water in these areas is calm, and you'll just hear dripping sounds and rippling sounds, but you still get that feeling of something just waiting in the darkness to try to eat you. You, you can't shake the feeling. The temperature of these dark areas is also colder than the rest of the level. The rest of the level is a lukewarm temperature, but here it gets really cold and the water can be frigid. In both the regular pools and the dark pools, the water also can be varying lengths and depths. It can go from really shallow to really deep to just straight up infinite. And the deeper the pools are, the more unsafe that you'll typically feel getting into them since you can't see the bottom. It would be terrifying. Like imagine getting into a pretty small pool lengthwise, but then seeing that there's literally no bottom to it. Like it just goes down forever. That would be terrifying. The hallways are another big part of the level and they're endless in length just like the hotels. They're typically empty, with really strange lighting, and they feel very lonely and very liminal. Like you're not supposed to stay there for a long time, it's just a passing through area, but you feel like you're stuck there. They twist and they turn randomly too, and they give off feelings of isolation and loneliness. It's also easy to get lost in the hallways because they turn so much, which that's no fun. They just look like big empty hotel hallways, simple as that. In some rare areas of the halls, you might find a few sofas or vending machines or doors that lead to the next part of the level, which is called the outside. So the outside is just this unsettling looking empty outdoor pool area with very few streetlights that give it this very eerie loneliness, just like the rest of the level. 
Now, besides all these feelings of eeriness and loneliness, you're still safe. It just feels that way. It just feels dangerous, but it's not. There are bushes and trees here, too, that seem out of place. And there's paths that cut from the outdoor areas to other resorts and other buildings. The path area has the same curvy, windy feeling as the hallways do. And like I said, they can lead to other nearby pools and buildings and resorts as well. And the other buildings that are here, besides the main hotel, are other smaller resorts and other stores and other storage buildings and other pool areas. The stores themselves are small, but they look like typical supermarkets, except tiny. They all look very liminal, and they all have food on the shelves and water in the refrigerators. The other resorts are empty and have pools, just like the main resort you spawn in. And the storage places look like those self-storage ones from real life, with all the doors and stuff. All of this entire area is very lonely and comforting at the same time and it just feels like you're in this one massive liminal space it's so quiet and so empty and nothing's there except you and whoever else you bring now beyond the outside area and outside those paths and other buildings is the last area of the level which is the Endless Sea. The Endless Sea is just an infinite expanse of lukewarm ocean water that has varying depths. There are some buildings that are on the edge of this ocean that overlook it, and there's also a beach area that goes along the coast. Just like the rest of the areas, this area is peaceful but lonely, and kind of creepy but also relaxing. And it also goes out in an infinite direction, just like the rest of the level. I know I've said that about a billion times. My bad. But it just feels like these beaches are a place to sit down and just think about everything. You know, think life's deepest thoughts the water is lukewarm and like i said it has varying depths and i mean you can swim in it there's been no animals found yet so it's just an empty ocean now back in those hotel areas and those resort areas there are places like these small liminal pools and these zones typically tend to make people have a complete sense of comfort and hominess and safety so they never leave plus being inside of the hotel building might make you feel more comfortable than being in the other places in the back rooms but most people that get sent here have traveled for years through all the backrooms levels and when they get here they feel like they can finally rest and that's why this level is beautiful In order to get to this heavenly backrooms level, you're going to need to find a set of sliding glass doors on level negative 18, and to exit, you can noclip into a wall to be sent to the pool rooms level, but I think that I like this level better. Let me tell you why. I feel like you're trapped in the pool rooms, you know, I feel like you're kind of just in this one huge complex, and it's beautiful, and it's serene, and it's comforting, but this area is just like a massive, infinite row of resorts and stores that's completely empty to everybody except you. Everything's full of pools and liminal spaces and everything is so empty and relaxing. I just feel like it's more open and expansive than the pool rooms. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did like this one. It's really one of my favorites now. Like, actually, this level is awesome. I was excited to share it with you. I think the author did an amazing job. Go check out the full article in the description to support them. And thank you for your support on here as well. We're on the road to a million subs, which, like I said, that's absurd. I mean, thank you all so much. I cannot thank you all enough. Check out my vlog channel if you want to see me document my life and tell stories and just follow along as I live my goofy life, I guess. And comment any level that you want to see on the Brigley channel. We're about to hit a million subscribers, like I just said, and to be the first solo Backrooms channel, the channel has only done Backrooms videos, to hit a million subs, that's going to be insane. I'm so grateful for you all. When I hit a million subs, I have some special stuff planned, and I cannot wait to get closer so I can share that stuff with you, but just know that it's coming. I cannot wait. Thank you for all you do, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.